And now onto our dinosaur of the day, Scorpios rex, which is a hybrid dinosaur in Jurassic World, as we mentioned. And with Jurassic World Dominion coming up, we felt we wanted to cover all of the dinosaurs that are in Jurassic World and Jurassic Park. When you say it's in Jurassic World, was it in the first Jurassic World? I thought that was Indominus Rex. So we don't actually see Scorpios Rex until Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous. Oh, that's where I know it from. But the reason I say Jurassic World is because technically it was around before the events of Camp Cretaceous. Ooh, and Camp Cretaceous was like basically at the same time as Jurassic World, at least the first season. Yes, so Scorpios Rex was the first hybrid dinosaur that Henry Wu made, even before Indominus Rex and Indoraptor. And it took a lot of tries, which makes sense when you're making a hybrid dinosaur. (laughs) Again, this is all fiction. Yes. (laughs) And Scorpios Rex looked very hybrid. Its design and some of its poses are similar to the human dinosaur hybrids proposed for Jurassic Park 4. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, that was before. It was after Jurassic Park 3. They were planning on making Jurassic Park 4, which had a whole bunch of hybrids, right? But then they ended up scrapping that, and it wasn't until many years later, and they totally threw that away and came up with Jurassic World. Yep, and then you got Indominus Rex and Indoraptor. Now, Scorpio's Rex is meant to be uglier since it's the first one, and then Indoraptor looks the sleekest because they've kind of perfected how they were making their hybrid dinosaurs. Interesting. I thought Scorpius Rex looked a lot more like the Indoraptor than it did like Indominus Rex. Maybe it's just the color, though, because it was a darker one, not that weird white color. Could be. I think if you're looking at the proportions, though, it looks weirder. Like it's designed to have these long arms, a thinner than usual torso and the quills. And the movements are meant to be zombie like, like it's not totally in control of its movement. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was pretty all over the place. So this hybrid dinosaur was medium-sized. It was a theropod, about 26 feet or 8 meters long. It was bipedal, but it could walk on all fours. And it's smaller than Indominus Rex, but bigger than Indoraptor. It had red eyes and slit pupils, as well as an overbite and jagged, uneven teeth. Yeah, it gives it more of a pseudo Sukian or crocodilian-like look. And I guess that makes it more monstrous. Yeah. Or the underbite look. Its eyes were also high up on its face. It was dark gray or dirt brown in color. It had charcoal black scales, and it had short, powerful jaws and long, powerful arms, as well as flexible shoulder joints and quill-like spines on its head. And it had venomous spines on its elbow, neck, and tail. That comes from the scorpion fish DNA, and it could use those spines like a porcupine, where the spines get stuck in flesh. Yeah. Yeah, that really made me think it was more advanced and fancier. Yeah, but yeah, they're just trying stuff out. <laughs> maybe they decided that was a bad adaptation <laughs> to have the thing you're trying to like control be poisonous to you. It also had opposable thumbs and talons that could grasp, as well as a somewhat prehensile tail. It had infrared vision, as well as short spurs that grew out of the back of its heels. But poor Scorpius Rex, or maybe not so poor Scorpius Rex, it was considered to be too ugly to be seen by the public, which is why we don't see it until Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous. Mm. And its behavior ranged from calm to very aggressive and unpredictable. It had labored breathing, and it seems to always be in pain. Oh, geez, I didn't notice that. But that's why it's probably ruthless and violent. It was a fast runner. It could run faster than Gallimimus, and it's able to climb. And it attacked by slashing, kicking, pouncing, biting, screeching, and with its quills. Lots of different ways to attack, which is maybe not what you want in a theme park. (laughs) Yeah, probably not. (laughs) Scorpius Rex easily takes down a Ceratosaurus and kills other dinosaurs, including a Brachiosaurus. Oh, no. The name Scorpius Rex means scorpion king. It's named for the scorpion fish which is bottom-dwelling venomous fish. But Scorpios Rex also had claws like Velociraptor and horns and scales like Carnotaurus. Yeah, and like really long arms. They always do that. They did the same thing with Indominus Rex and Indoraptor where they had like, they have to have huge arms and claws as well as big sharp teeth and everything. It's like... <laughs> all, the, all the things that are threatening. Yeah. You might also know Scorpius Rex by its other name, E750. 
There was a lot of speculation when Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous first came out and the season hadn't dropped with it yet. Like, what is this E750 going to look like? Yeah, they showed just like a frozen cryo chamber type looking thing Mm -hmm. with that alphanumeric on it. And it could survive for long periods of time in below freezing water, possibly because of its tree frog genes. (laughs) Of course. The frog. It's always the frog DNA. Yeah. Ascorbius rex matures in four months, so very quickly. And it attacks its own offspring. It's been described as a failed experiment. That's another thing that's tricky if you're trying to, like, raise a population for a zoo, if they're attacking all their own children. Mm -hmm. There are two individuals of Scorpius Rex. Only one that was created by Henry Wu, and it reproduced asexually. That's how it got the second individual, and that that's apparently due to its frog DNA. <laughs> oh, again, the frog DNA. <laughs> <laughs> now, of course, we know Scorpius Rex was held frozen in InGen's secret tunnels until it escaped in Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous. Wu was attacked once and then ordered to kill the Scorpius Rex. The staff saved him with the anti-venom that he made. But instead of killing Scorpius Rex, he put it in a cryonic stasis. And not many people knew of its existence. Then there was a power overload and damage to the electrical grid after the events of Jurassic World that eventually led to Scorpius Rex thawing out and escaping in Season 3 of Camp Cretaceous. This caused the other dinosaurs on the island to change their behaviors and become more aggressive. Scorpius Rex attacks the kids, of course, in Camp Cretaceous, and only stops when it gets distracted by fire from a lightning strike. And it hurts the character Sammy with its quills, and Yasmina has to run to the lab to get the antidote. Scorpius Rex also tries to attack Bumpy, Oh! but the herd of ankylosaurs defends her, and they have a thick enough armor that they're okay. Yeah. Yeah, and- ankylosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> and Scorpius Rex, of course, they also attack each other. And Blue ends up saving Darius and Ben from both Scorpius Rexes, and then the Scorpius Rexes are crushed and killed, presumably killed, when the visitor center collapses on top of them. The campers also destroy Wu's laptop, so Scorpius Rex shouldn't be able to be recreated. Unless it's backed up. Yeah. They got a zip disk. Uh, Yeah, you never know (laughs) in Jurassic World what's going to happen. It's true. Now, Scorpius Rex, it's available as an action figure, and it can chomp and roar and attack with its tail and slash with its claws. And again, it is a fictitious dinosaur. Yes. I feel like I have to reiterate that. Right. A hybrid fictitious dinosaur in Jurassic World. 